Docker isn't hard to learn. There's probably only five or six commands that you'll use a lot, and maybe a dozen more that experts need. Hi, I'm Darcy DeClue, a developer advocate for Linode. I'm gonna show you the 21 Docker commands every developer should know. But before I get started, I just wanna remind you that there's a link in the description for you to learn more about Linode. So sign up and give it a try. Now let's start simple with the docker dash dash version command. This command tells you two things. Number one, if Docker is installed or not. And number two, what version of Docker is running. As you can see, Docker is installed and I'm running version 20.10. Number two, Docker pull. Docker images for things like Nginx, OpenJDK, Python, and WordPress are all hosted on Docker Hub. To get them onto your local machine, you have to pull them down. For example, the command docker pull nginx will download the latest nginx image onto your computer. Here you can see it being downloaded. Be patient, it'll take a minute. Number three, docker images. To prove the nginx image was downloaded, you can run the docker images command. After the command runs, nginx gets listed as a local image. Number four, docker create. Containers are created from images. Say that we wanted to run three Nginx web servers. To do that, we need to create three Nginx containers. Run these three commands with the dash P switch to map each container to a unique port. Docker create dash dash name engine one dash P 8180 Nginx. Docker create dash dash name engine two dash P 8280 Nginx. And Docker create dash dash name engine three dash P 8380 Nginx. That creates three containers, but it doesn't actually start them. Number five, docker ps. To prove the containers were created, run the docker ps-a command. This lists all the docker containers on your system. You can see all three nginx containers are there. Number six, docker rename. Notice how I messed up the naming convention? To fix that, we can do a docker rename. Just type in docker rename engine one engine one. A docker ps-a command proves it worked correctly. Number seven, the docker start command. To start our containers, run these three commands. docker start engine one, docker start engine two, and docker start engine three. When you're done, open a web browser and go to localhost 81, localhost 82, and localhost 83. And you'll see the three nginx web servers running. Number eight, Docker run. There's an easier way to start a container than running docker pull, docker create, and docker start commands. The docker run command will do all three. So we could run an interactive Django container for our Python apps with this one command. docker run dash di dash dash name Python apps Django colon latest. It'll take a moment to download the image from Docker Hub, so be patient. Run the docker ps command when it's done and you'll see the new container. Number nine, docker port. Do you remember what port the engine one container uses? To find out, just run docker port engine one. You'll see that engine one exposes port 81 on the host machine. Number 10, docker pause. To stop a container from doing work, but without removing it from memory, you can run the docker pause command. Docker pause engine one will make the engine one container unresponsive but not kill the process or remove it from memory. Number 11, docker stats. We can prove the engine one container is still in memory by calling docker stats. You can see that it's still consuming a few megs of memory. Number 12, docker stop. To stop a docker process and remove it from memory, you should issue the docker stop command. Docker stop engine two fully stops the engine two container. We can prove that with the docker ps command you can see that engine two isn't even listed. Number 13, docker kill. The docker stop command performs a graceful shutdown. If you aren't worried about communicating the shutdown to a parent process, you can just do a kill. Docker kill Python apps will stop the container immediately. Number 14, docker rm. If you want to remove a docker container, just issue the docker rm command. For example, docker rm Python apps will completely remove the container. A docker ps-a shows that it's gone. 
Number 15, Docker RMI. To remove an image, use the Docker RMI command. For example, if I issued Docker RMI Django colon latest, the Django image gets removed. The Docker images command shows it's gone. Number 16, Docker exec. To issue commands inside a container, you can use the docker exec command. This command, docker exec it engine one slash bin slash shell, will take you inside the running nginx container. An ls command shows the container's directory structure. If you want to add a web page for nginx to host, just move to the slash user slash share slash nginx slash www folder and echo hello world into the file named linode.html. Then just go to localhost slash linode.html and you'll see the web page come up. Type exit to get back to the host machine. Number 17, docker commit. If you like the way you've customized a container, you can create an image out of it. Just issue a docker commit command. It's standard practice to name a new image with your Docker Hub handle like this. Docker commit engine one scrumptious slash my dash web server. If you issue a Docker images command, you'll see a new image listed. Number 18, Docker save. If you want to create a personal copy of your new image, you can save it to a tar file with Docker save. Just type Docker save scrumptious slash my dash web server to my dash image dot tar. You can then store the image in a shared folder for others to use. Number 19, Docker login. A better option for image storage is Docker Hub. To push a local image to the cloud, first log into Docker with the Docker login command. Provide your username and password and you'll be able to access the account through the command line. Number 20, Docker push. After a successful login, you're ready to push your custom image into the cloud. Just issue a Docker push command with the full name of the image. For me, that's docker push scrumptious slash my dash web server. It'll take a moment for the push to complete. Once it's done, go to Docker Hub and see the custom image uploaded. Oh, and once you're done using Docker, issue a Docker logout for good measure. And there you go. Those are the 21 Docker commands every developer needs to know. Now, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the link in the description to find out more about Linode.